These are our stables. Feel free to use them as you please. Let me know if there's anything you need help with. Hey, thanks! Uh, say, where can a feline get some donuts around here? Dough nuts? What are those? What? Don't kid around, this is important! We're talking about the greatest food in the world! I'm sorry, but I've never heard of them. They're a delectable treat, fried in oil! They're sweet, shaped like a ring, and each bite is pure bliss! If you really don't know about donuts, how come you don't go nuts? Sweet, round, and fried in oil? Doesn't sound very healthy, to be honest. That's not the point. If you've really never heard of donuts, how come you don't go nuts? I'm not sure what you mean. No, no, don't you get it? Donuts? Go nuts? I'm sorry, I still don't. Okay, I guess I should stop waiting for a laugh, huh? Oh, that was a joke? Sorry, I don't really get it. I see. Well, as you may have noticed, our village is made up of only Wyverians. Monster riding is all we've ever known. We only started exploring the outside world fairly recently. I guess we still have a lot to learn. Sounds like you're all in the same boat. My buddy here never left Tokolo Island until now. It's your first journey away from home? That can really take a lot out of you. You should get some rest. A wild Paolumu appeared in the forest a little while back. Some of our riders were injured trying to escape. A Paolumu? But those fluff balls are adorable! How could they hurt anybody? True. Normally, they don't attack people at all. Let me guess. This one isn't normal. Indeed. This is the first time we've had to face such a threat. We'd like you to help investigate. Show us your skills as a rider. So soon? Is that wise? This should be a good experience. And what's more, the child has Red's kinship stone. This is a good chance for them to show if they are capable of taking part in the rite of channeling. I agree with Zealot. If you plan to form a bond with Arathalos, you must hone your skills as a rider. Well, when you put it that way, challenge accepted. We'll show you what we're made of. Wait a moment, Elder. They don't have the necessary experience. Hey, whose side are you on? We took down an Anginath and not just by a whisker! You're just proving my point. That overconfidence could be your undoing. Why, I yada? The safety of the village is my responsibility. I'd prefer it if... Relax, Alwyn. I see where you are going with this. You may accompany them. Thank you, sir. Every hand helps. Now that it's been decided, make your way to the forest. Sheesh! I still say we could have handled this on our own. Nonetheless, we'll do our best. 
Please be careful.
I'm impressed.
This area has remained unchanged since ancient times. Many kinds of monsters live here, along with some rare species of insects. That said, a lot of them have been disappearing lately. So you think strange things are happening around here too? Let's hope not. There was much more wildlife around here in Red's time though. Oh, so that means you knew my buddy's grandpa too then, huh? Yes. Everybody talks about him like he was a celebrity. What was he really like? It's hard to put into words. I knew him almost his entire life. I have so many memories of him. Our village has long since been inhabited solely by Wyverians. Not everyone was happy about him being allowed to come and go as he pleased. However, he never let any of that bother him. He and Guardian Ratha just kept showing up again and again. He was always so open and friendly. He was freedom incarnate, a perfect match for the King of the Skies. An incredible man. Guess that runs in the family, huh, buddy? <laughs> Hold on. If you knew the old guy since he was a kid, how come you still look so young? The way that Wyverians and humans age is a little different. The way they age? Yes, we live longer and age slower than humans. Wow, how about that? That makes me wonder, how old do you think Anna is? She could be as old as an elder dragon! When Red first arrived here, everyone said it was impossible for humans and Wyverians to be friends. Why would they think that? Because we could only spend such a short time together. Humans mature in what feels like the blink of an eye for us. Were you afraid humans wouldn't want to be pals with you anymore once they grew up? Yes, but we were wrong. Even though I can no longer meet Red anymore, I still consider him one of my closest friends. Therefore, I'd never be able to forgive myself if I let you get hurt on my watch. So that's why you insisted on coming with us. Do you hear that? There's a monster nearby. My whiskers didn't pick up any signals. You got better senses than me, huh? I'm impressed, Alwyn. Hmm. This is nothing. It's completely normal for us. Back in his day, Red trained his senses to an even higher level. The best I can do is pick up on distant sounds. But he could actually hear the voices of monsters. The voices of monsters? Come on. This way.
You did it, buddy! Now we're another step closer to the right of channeling! We couldn't have done it without you, Alwyn. You make a pretty decent teacher. You might even be better at it than me. And I'm navigating Naviru. Me? A teacher? You've got to be kidding. If you really want to become a better rider, you can learn more from the monsters that I could ever teach you. Monsters are much closer to nature than we are. They're in tune with the world around them. Understanding what a monster is trying to tell you is one of the most important skills you can develop. Well, that's certainly easier said than done. First, you must learn how to listen. Now, now I'm all confused. There's no rush. Just keep improving little by little. You'll see what I mean. Come, we need to report to the Elder. Now you're talking! Let's ride, buddy! I see you are back. How was it? It was just like you said. I don't know why, but that Paolumu was going nuts. But don't worry. We made sure it won't be causing any more trouble. Well done. However, you still lack experience. You must work a lot harder if you plan to protect this egg. Jeez! You got any other problems around here? We'll solve them all, no big deal. Bring it on! Right, buddy? Some of our villagers have been reporting an increase in monster attacks on the Harzgai Rocky Hill. We suspect it to be the work of a monster camouflaging itself among the rocks and boulders. A monster that looks like a rock? Hmm. I feel like I've seen one of those before. So far, we've been unable to identify the creature. You'll go find out what it is. I'd like to accompany them on this quest as well. Of course. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 